Hey guys, I am Davey and I'm here with Taylor. Hello. Taylor is a sex worker and we wanted to have a really kind of open and frank conversation because it's not always a topic that's easy to talk about. So it's nice to actually speak with someone in the industry and it's also really difficult to find people in the industry that are willing to talk, especially on camera. Right. So thank you for being here. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you for uh, having this discussion. According to Google, a question a lot of people search is, is paying for sex wrong? And so I thought that'd be a really interesting topic for us to tackle um, on a lot of levels, because it's also like a moral question, but there's a lot of ways to break it down. Like, is paying for sex legal? Like, it, there's, there's a lot of ways to kind of tease it apart. Right. So if someone says to you, is paying for sex wrong? Like, where do you, <laughs> where do you even start? With, with <laughs> well, again, it comes down to people's morals, right? I, um, and with a lot of services out there, it comes down to people's morals. But I believe that it's a, a service that should be out there for people who need it, who don't have a partner, who, you know, crave that connection. Like, I could hire someone to give me a massage legally i could hire someone to legally sing for me like lots of things that are very intimate right. um some of those things even as intimate or even more intimate than sex i think in some instances mm -hmm. like why is it that sex would be any different yeah why is it that sex is any <laughs> different really it's like um because we live in a puritanical society where <laughs> right um well there's still those people around yeah obviously but um I, I believe it's coming more more acceptable um, to go out and, and purchase sex as a fact. What people might not also be clued into is there's a lot of reasons why someone would be hiring a sex worker for, for sex. What are some of the like the benefits for the clients or the reasons that they're they're hiring you? Right, well well most people, most clients are, are looking for not only the sexual act, but they're looking for a companion. You know, someone to make them feel like they're human, and feel that they're touchable, um, because a lot of people don't don't get that, unfortunately. And um, I believe it's it uh, it attributes to people's mental health as well. You know, what I do is not necessarily just an act, um, but it's making people feel good about themselves too. Right. Yeah. yeah. In some instances, it's probably people that, for whatever reasons, don't have access to to a partner. They don't have a someone that they see regularly. So this is a way for them to get that connection and intimacy exactly and the release is there a way to to like legally obtain sex for money or is that well in uh in canada it's, it's like a gray area right now because it is legal to sell sex um uh, as an escort but it's illegal to purchase it as the purchaser so right now they're going after the johns looking for the sex which um you know, it, the laws just got recently changed in 2015, um, and you know we're still fighting for that full legality for it. So was it before that illegal for both parties? Yes, for both parties, okay. uh, completely illegal. And what's the what's the thought like in making it legal to sell sex? It, it's kind of a protection that's being offered for sex workers, right? And and also like to protect the human trafficking aspect of it too, right? Because I don't believe that people should be forced into this job. They shouldn't be forced into any job. But if you're you know consenting adults and this is what you want to do, then I believe you should be able to do it. Why did they stop at? Like, it just seems like a funny place to arrive that like, well, it's legal to sell sex, but it's not legal to buy it. Right, it makes no sense, no <laughs> sense at all. And um, yeah, the courts need to give their head a shake about that. Yeah, yeah. Do you know how it, it like, obviously it's, it's different from like country to country and even like in the States, Right. Um, like Nevada, I believe it's it's yeah. it's legal. It's legal. It's regulated. Um, they they're allowed to um, have brothels um, and that sort of thing in Nevada, um, but no other no other state. In a place like Nevada, where it is legal, like what is the implications? Like how does it change the industry when suddenly you have like uh, it's it's legal? It can be taken out of the shadows. You can regulate it. Like does it? Um, kind of what's the what's the data show or what's the obviously more people are going to go to Nevada if, if that's <laughs> what they're looking for right um, but I, I think that you know Nevada making it legal makes the other states you know realize that oh maybe it is more acceptable now you know that's what we're hoping how does the legalization I guess of, of like escorting and sex workers like how does that uh, impact the sex workers themselves like is it like, for example, with marijuana being legalized, that mm -hmm. suddenly you can regulate the industry and make sure that there's kind of a certain system in place. 
Right. So not only can can now escorts claim their income, you know, stuff like that, but also it's um, uh, it's protecting them a little bit more because it, when it was in the shadows, you know, sex workers, they couldn't go to the cops if they were assaulted. They couldn't do that because they were doing illegal activity, you know. So now with their with the legality of it, they're more protected, mm -hmm. you know, and that's that's what we want for everybody. Oh, so in other words, like someone, if you were in a situation that was difficult or something happened to you, you couldn't go to the cops because you would then also be I would be charged with an offense, yeah. Wow. Right. Wow. Yeah. That, that People probably don't yeah. think of that. Right. Yeah. Our next topic that we're going to tackle is kind of the myths and misconceptions around the sex worker industry. Right. And... Um, if you guys are interested in learning more, then please subscribe to the channel so you can check out that video. And thank you all so much for watching. And as always, more to come. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm Davey Wavy, by the way, and I recently launched a website, himrose.tv. And it is like porn, but it is better. It is erotic content that is designed to help you have better sex. So check it out, it's H-I-M-E-R-O-S dot TV. I hope to see you there.